Hornbill weekend hon and hempel na bigon si bay tunay ay holy pidiyo hile Chulchanpur district adi nga cancer specialist head and neck cancer doctor Puspakisor Maibam ama hile MS ENT specialist district hospital Chulchanpur siya maya manipura yai dan specialist mi tumcao ma yai tumtela ka ama karahiya tunin ama hi igam sunga mi tampin aboy pi head and neck cancer tung tanga ay holy pidiyo nga Tunia, ihole mo ding hila sapao hindi nga. Dr. Pus Pakisor, thank you for coming to the show. Hello, thank you. Is it is it a hard time for doctors to be to to be following this profession at this time? How do you and your wife take preventive measures? Yeah, hello everyone, and first of all, I would like to thank for inviting and giving me an opportunity to create awareness in the head and neck cancers. The first to explain to you a question, yeah, but of course it's a very hard time for the uh, frontliners like the medical professions. Uh, yeah, yeah, in these present situations, uh, since uh, the medicines we are in these professions, we had to come across a lot of uh, uh, barriers. Mm. In a sense, like uh, after uh, doing duties and all, we need to be uh, isolated ourselves and get separated from our parents and kids. And um, apart from that one, uh, for the um, for the uh, welfare of the uh, patients and all, we are also thinking for that one. So I think it's a hard time, I feel. Quite challenging, huh? Quite challenging. Okay, straight away, let's get to our topic for today. This is a very relevant topic. Mm. So when we are looking at statistics in India, especially in the Norris, Despite our very less population, there is a very high ratio of cancer pop, uh, cancer patients to compare with the population. Mm. How important it is to give this awareness to the people? Uh, yeah, means the the head neck cancer means uh, is the uh, sixth most common cancer worldwide, and uh, especially uh, means uh, uh, the incidence is very much high in the Southeast Asia countries. And uh, and the main factors for the development of this cancer is the uh, tobacco use and the alcohol. So uh, so the India being a country means where we are con where the consumption of the tobacco is very high. So to give awareness uh, for the head and the cancers in our particular areas, is very I think like it's very important. So you have been joining this church and district. How shocking it is to find the statistics to compare with the population. How much is the, the scenario of the head and neck cancer? Uh, but uh, when we compare with the world world scenario, uh, mm. the incidence and the prevalence of the head and neck cancer is very high in um, in the India. Mm. Uh, it's it, uh, the head and neck cancers account for three percent in United States, mm. and in the European countries it accounts for four persons. Mm. But uh, according to the latest IM, uh, ICMR report, there is the Indian Council for Medical Research. Uh, it has been found that means more than 50% of the head and neck cancers in India is in the northeastern states. Mm -hmm. And according to this report, the highest incidence of the nasopharyngeal cancer means uh, uh, that is a cancer of the pharynx, mm -hmm. and it uh, it has been found to be highest in Nagaland. So. To create awareness and uh, uh, of the cancer, especially in the prone areas like uh, in India, it's, I think like it's important. So can you uh, can you tell me what is head and neck cancer in brief? Like how, what are the problems? What are the types that we have? Yeah, exactly. That is good good question. Head and neck cancer uh, constitute a diverse form of cancer. 
uh, that arises from the upper uh, airway and the foot tracts. And interestingly, more than 90% of the head and neck cancers are the squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma is a variety of cancer mm -hmm. and it's been related to alcohol uses and tobacco. So I just want to focus, today briefly I will be talking about the different type of the cancer that is included in, in the head and neck cancers. The head and cancers include the cancer of your mouth, mm -hmm. the cancer of the larynx, that is, a, that is the windpipe, mm -hmm. that is the dead tube that, uh, that passes the air from the nose to the lungs and that is present in the front of the neck. And behind that one, there is, a, means, uh, there is also a track means, uh, that is called, we call foot pipe uh, that is responsible for the conductions of the foot from the mouth to the stomach. So these are the, means, uh, some of the sites where the head and neck cancer can develop. Mm. So means, uh, when the cancer of the larynx that the windpipe develops, that is called the, uh, means we call it the uh, uh, laryngeal cancer or we call it this voice box cancer. And when the cancer of the foot passes develop, then we call it called, uh, we call it as a uh, pharyngeal cancer that also according to the site means of the location if the part of the tube is behind the nose that is called the nasopharyngeal cancer which I have already said this cancer is very much prevalent mm. and uh, especially in the um, uh, in the uh, hilly areas where the dietary habit consists of the consumption of the small foods Mm. and means where we use the pine wood means for burning and means where there is no sufficient ventilation for the passage of their uh, the smoke so these are some of the uh, means uh, risk factors which develop with the cancer of the uh, this one nasopharynx so mm. these are some of the side of the head and neck cancers apart from that one there may be cancer of or uh, cancer of the sinus and the nose this is also a part of the head and neck cancers and uh, this all, whatever the cancer that I have mentioned, it comes under the squamous cell carcinoma, that variants. But there are also some head and neck cancers that are not, not belong to this variant. And this consists of the thyroid cancer, which is very common in Manipur and especially in some part of Arunachal. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is also the cancer of the uh, salivary glands, means, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, is responsible for the production of the saliva. Mm -hmm. And in the head and neck cancer also include the skin cancers. Of course, it's not common in our um, in the continents. Mm. It is more common in Australia, where they use the sun bathing and all. Mm. And, and apart from that, there is some soft tissue cancer like sarcoma. So these are the mm. broad uh, cancer that is included in the head and neck. From what you have told me, this cancer is so much has got to do with our dietary and lifestyle. Yeah. Is that one of the key reasons why we have a very high factor, I mean a very high number of high rate of cancer? How much can it be pre uh, prevented through lifestyle and what, what would be the message that we want to tell to the people? Of course, dietary factors play an important role in the development of the cancer. Mm -hmm. But in the head and neck cancers, the, mes, uh, the most important the risk factors being the tobacco uses, as I've already mentioned, mm -hmm. followed by the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Means uh, before coming to the uh, dietary habits, means I just want to focus a little bit on the use of the tobacco and the uh, alcohol, how it causes cancer. Mm. Uh, the tobacco uses is the main risk factors, mm. and uh, the tobacco can be used in the form of a cigar, mm. that is the smoking form, and it can be used in non-smoking form like chewing pan, mm. gutka, mm. then uh, means, uh, chewing khaini and all. Mm. So means uh, uh, so when uh, so the cigarette smoke. Mm. contain more than 13 non carcinogens mm. some to be important to mention include the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons so mm. 30 carcinogens means it's a very high figures mm. these are all the carcinogens mm. and apart from that one the tobacco contain a very addictive substances called nicotine mm. so it makes the patients uh, addicted to that particular substances mm. so these are the uh, means, uh, 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 this this are this shows that means the tobacco is very much important risk factors for the cancers. Mm. Alcohol means coming to alcohol, alcohol alcohol itself doesn't causes cancer, mm. but it has got synergistic actions to the use of tobacco. Mm. By that it means that when we use the uh, tobacco means, uh, along with the alcohol, then the risk mm. of the cancer is increases means is, is increases two to three folds. So these are the two main factors mm. and the main risk factors which causes the head and neck cancers. Mm. Now coming to your questions like about the dietary factors. Mm. Of course, um, uh, a decrease intake of the uh, fresh vegetables and fruits mm. and increase intake of the um, this one. Mm. 
uh, your red meat, mm. smoked fish, salted fish, mm. and means uh, I have I have already said just a few moments back uh, that the increased intake of the smoke uh, means this food items. Mm. This con this contain a very important carcinogen that is nitrosoamines. So these are but so so dietary factors also means play an important role in the development of the head and neck cancers. We are talking about smoke, we are talking about tobacco, and we, are, we even mentioned about uh, our diets. Hmm. How does medical studies prove that people who are using tobacco left or right, how, how, what are the differences for people who are taking con consuming kainy and all those tobacco products? Hmm. What are the I mean, significant differences between those who consume that or not? Uh, uh, that is very relevant questions. Um, this one, um, of course, I mean, so I've found so many people asking me, I means when they comes to I means uh, to me personally, they used to say, "Sir, I means I'm consuming tobacco since I means since one week only," mm -hmm. and there are some past, and and I have developed it, uh, developed cancer, mm -hmm. and he used to um, just compare with some other person that I means that particular guy is using uh, tobacco oh, for the last ten years, but he didn't develop cancers. So, of course, I means the uh, development of the cancers depends upon the amount and the frequency how much you are using the tobacco, mm -hmm. but. The uh, development of the cancer also depends upon the genetic makeup of the cancer and the uh, human uh, and the human uh, this one genetic makeup. Mm. So, means in some patients, means uh, even a slight use of tobacco may be very sensitive to causes that cancer. Mm. And in some other patients, means uh, even if he is consuming tobacco for a long period of time, mm. means uh, he may be means uh, he may not be prone to develop to cancers to the to the to the first person. So. Um, so uh, the development of the cancers depend upon the genetic makeup of the tumor and the genetic makeup of the particular persons. And regarding the site of the cancers, mm. means the most uh, most frequently we see the cancer on the left side, means especially in the lower part, because means they have got the habit of putting the kiny mm. or means any chewable tobacco means over the lower part of the leaf on the left mm. side. So this is the most common site of the cancers. I see. That is mm. that is quite a. That's quite a very authentic proof, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is very problem. The, the the place means where you put means that means particular area means has got the high chance of developing cancer. When it comes to medical study about this cancer, mm. the biggest challenge is to detect it early. Yeah. Cancer has different stages. Mm. What are the symptoms and signs? How do how does one know, and how can one take a preventive measure, timely measure? Uh, that's what also very uh, that, that that's yeah. also a very uh, relevant question to this. Uh, uh, mm. uh, to this talk, um, most of the head and neck cancers, um, means we hardly detect in the initial stage. That is the stage one and stage two, mm -hmm. and because means it hardly produce symptoms. When the patient presents to us, the patient is already in stage three or stage four. That is the advanced stage, uh, stage disease when the patient develops signs and symptoms. Coming to the signs and symptoms, uh, a patients with the oral cancer or the mouth cancers may present with non-healing ulcers, which may persist for more than two weeks. Normally, means if there is any ulcer, means by one or two weeks, means it used to heal. But means if we, if there is non-healing ulcer, especially in the tobacco and the alcoholic use patients, mm -hmm. and means associated with the symptoms like bleeding, means when we touch, mm -hmm. and when we see the oral cavity, means when there is the formations of the whitish plaque. Means normally the mucosa, means it's it's pinkish in color, mm -hmm. and means that the fibrous plaque is because of the chronic use of the tobacco that has. Uh, causes the uh, damages to that particular mucosa and when uh, when that mucosa heals then there is a formation of the fibrous plaque so these are all the pre malignant lesions and when this fibrous plaque means uh, formation increases then the patient may have even complaint of difficulty in opening the mouth normally means when we insert the, means the normal opening of the mouth will be more than three fingers mm. like this but in that particular patients or in that particular cases the mouth opening will be restricted Means they will find difficulties. Means even in inserting two fingers also. So these are all the precancerous malignant lesions. Mm. If the if the patients continue uh, chewing tobacco, then it may means one day or the other day it's going to definitely lead to cancers. So when that patients uh, they, uh, means uh, eat any hot and spicy foods, they have they feel like a burning sensations. So these are the, some of the uh, signs of the symptoms means of the mouth cancers. Of course, means in the advanced stages, means we may find means uh, the loosening of the teeth with poor dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the uh, clinical presentations of the mouth cancers. And mm -hmm. coming to the laryngeal cancer, that is uh, commonly we call as the boy's box. Mm -hmm. In that the cancer, the patient may present with the uh, change in voice. Mm -hmm. 
there may be weakness of the voice change in voice means uh, and when the cancer progresses the patients may even have difficulty in breathing mm. so in that cases like means uh, the patient wouldn't be able to lie down straight and the patient may present with severe respiratory distress at a time means we do some emergency procedures like uh, emergency tracheostomy in which may, we make it uh, means an opening emergency it's an emergency pro uh, procedures we make an opening in the anterior part of the means, uh, neck means, uh, means uh, in which we make a whole means uh, uh, that procedure is called the tracheostomy so mm -hmm. these are the some of the presentations of the laryngeal cancers mm -hmm. and in the uh, pharyngeal cancers that which i've already mentioned it is a foot track Mm -hmm. So, means, uh, this hypo, this pharyngeal cancers, depending upon the locations, we can divide it into three areas. Mm -hmm. That part of the tube that is behind the nose, that is mm -hmm. called the nasopharynx, mm -hmm. which I have just mentioned, the highest incident is prevalent in Nagaland, mm -hmm. even in our state, Manipur also. Means, uh, this kind of cancer, I, have, I personally have uh, means, uh, experienced this kind of cancers, especially coming from the hilly areas, means, uh, using the smoke fees. Uh, that I've already just mentioned a few moments back. So, in that cases, in the nasopharyngeal cancers, the patients may present with the nose block symptoms. Mm -hmm. They may be uh, bleeding from the uh, nose sometimes, mm -hmm. and they may be. Uh, uh, there is also a tube mm -hmm. that connects the nose with the ear. Mm -hmm. When the tumor enlarges in size, then the tumor may block that particular tube. Then the patients may have um, the problems in hearing also. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that cases, the patients may also present with the uh, swelling in the neck. Swelling in the neck is very important means in most of the head and cancers mm -hmm. because uh, head and neck uh, cancer is very rich in lymphatic supplies. Mm -hmm. And if that uh, particular neck, neck, neck nodes appear and it is proven for that malignancy, then the chances of survival is reduced to 50%. By that, it means that if a person is living for 10 years, Mm -hmm. Then means that if that uh, neck swelling appears and is proven for cancer, the chance of survival is reduced to five years. So almost means that the survival rate has been decreased to half. Mm -hmm. So that is the importance of the neck swelling. And in the oropharyngeal cancer, the oropharynx means it consists of your tonsil, mm -hmm. the tonsil areas. So in that particular areas, if the cancer develops, the patients may have problems with the, the, the swallowing. Mm -hmm. He may feel pain means when the patient swallow the foods. And means in the case of the hypopharyngeal cancer, hypopharyngeal cancer it's a uh, means is the lower part of the pharynx that connect means with the stomach through a through the esophagus. So means in that patients uh, uh, in that particular cancer, the patient may present with the difficulty in swallowing. Initially, that the difficulty in the swallowing may be for the solid foods, but as the cancer advances, that uh, the cancer will block the tube. If the cancer means the size increases, then gradually means it will block the lumen of the tube. Then the patient may present difficulty in swelling even for the liquid food items also. But at one point of the time, the patients may feel pain even uh, in swallowing his or her own saliva. So these are these, these are the, some of the signs and the symptoms of the uh, pharyngeal cancers. Mm -hmm. And means uh, some of the non-squamous carcinoma like your thyroid cancer, means, which is common in means, uh, Mani, Man, Manipur. So in that patients, the patients may present with a swelling in the neck, entire part of the neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in most of the cases, uh, the patients um, doesn't know means there is a swelling in the neck. Some means, uh, or means, of course, like means, uh, she may find it means when um, accidentally means she discover it or when some of his neighbor or some of his relatives say that like means, uh, there is a swelling in the neck. In that kind of cases, that is the most common presentation of thyroid cancers. Mm -hmm. And in the advanced cases, means when the thyroid uh, cancer spreads to the surrounding area like your larynx or the esophagus, then the patients may present with the change in voice or difficulty in swelling. So these are the, some of the signs and symptoms of the head and neck cancers. Scientific study and according to medical studies, the biggest challenge for the medical fraternity is how to detect cancer early. Hmm. What are the chances that cancers would be detected very early when it can be taken care? How challenging it is medically as of now? Okay. Um, most of the head and neck cancer present in the advanced stage disease when the patient develops signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. And uh, any um, head and neck cancers, it's uh, in the early stages, that is the stage one and stage two cancer, it's difficult to detect early. Mm -hmm. Of course, means obviously, means in the oral, in the mouth cancer, if there is an obvious growth, then means uh, then we can take a biopsy and just confirm for the presence of the malignancy mm -hmm. by the symptoms by the sign and symptoms it's difficult to detect the early stage cancer of course means that there are some of the techniques like optical imaging mm -hmm. 
means uh, where means uh, optical imaging um, uh, like uh, contact endoscopy is there narrow band imaging some of the uh, this one imaging is there when where we use the light Mm. And means, uh, means uh, where we use the light and is injected to the particular means, uh, suspected area. Then, means, uh, then means, uh, with that light, means, uh, it will be able to means, detect some surface changes, mm. which is associated with growth. In that case, means, uh, we will be able to detect the early stage cancer. Mm. But means, uh, hardly means, uh, within, um, we being in the developed countries like India, so uh, uh, developing countries like India, so means, uh, it's very difficult, especially in the North States, means, uh, we hardly uh, they take uh, means, uh, the early stage cancer when the patient pre patients uh, presents they they are already advanced stage disease so stage three stage four. There is no there is no good cancer to choose. But how traumatic is head and neck cancer, especially for the patient's perspective? How traumatic and how fast, how deadly does it spread? Uh, head and neck cancer, of course, like uh, it's an uh, it's more than ninety percent of the cancers are the squamous cell can cancer variant, as I've already said. Uh, this cancer is, is, is an aggressive variant. Mm. Um, the aggressiveness of the cancer depend upon, uh, also depends upon the stage of the tumors. Mm. Um, so in the head and neck cancers, we divide into four stages. Mm. The stage one and the stage two, we consider, consider is an early stage tumor. Mm. And the stage three and the stage four, we means, uh, mm. means, uh, consider as a um, locally advanced stage disease. Mm. So, um, uh, so, with the advanced stage disease, when the survival and the prognosis is also bad mm. means and in the early stage disease means uh, we can if, if we have detected in the early stages of course the curable rate is high and the prognosis is also better but means when we look means uh, uh, as an overall means uh, with the other cancers and uh, the head and neck cancer is in the is an aggressive form of the cancer mm. and uh, uh, but means uh, when coming to the thyroid it's 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 a, it's a different scenario mm. in more than 90 percent of the thyroid cancers these are the differentiated form of thyroid cancer. It's mainly the papillary, which we are, which we encounter in Manipur also mostly. So uh, for the thyroid cancer, means uh, the five years survivals. When we consider about the prognosis, we consider for five years. Mm. So for the thyroid cancer, especially the papillary variants, the five mm. years survival is more than ninety percent. So mm. means if God has asked you, like means if you have to have one cancer, then you change, uh, you choose for a particular cancer. Then means then papillary thyroid cancer variant. It's, it's, it's one of the cancer which has got extremely good prognosis. I see. Hmm. Let's talk about the psychological effect of patients hmm. when they are suffering this cancer, especially head and neck. Hmm. How traumatic it is? What are the experience the patient usually go through from the experience and medical, medically? Um, but, uh, the, the psych of course, means any cancers means uh, will definitely means um, um, have some psychological problems. Mm. Means it may not affect only the patients. Means it may affect the patient, um, the relatives also. Mm. Um, of course, like means the head and neck cancer, means the treat um, this one is a very challenging cancer because means the head and neck cancers deals with all the. Um, the because external means this means it deals with all the external appearance. Head and neck cancer is very uh, transparent, mm. and uh, means when we do a very uh, destructive surgery just for the treatment, then it will cause a lot of uh, 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 compromise in the form and the functions. Suppose like means if we have to, we have to cut the lower one third of the bone, the mm. patients may have a, means of course there will be cosmesis problems will be there. And after the reconstruction, means after cutting that particular means the areas, then the reconstruction is also a challenging. Mm. And apart from that one, means uh, it will affect the means uh, function also. Means uh, normally, like means uh, with that bone, means uh, giving support, means uh, it help in the uh, swallowing, chewing the hard food items. When we cut that particular bone, then the patient will compromise with the functions. So it's very challenging having the cancers mm. and. And even like because of that cosmesis, because of the loss of the function, and because of the um, and the outcome and the after the after undergoing the um, uh, this one destructive surgeries, of course the patients means has got psychological psychological problems. In my personal experiences, uh, around three to four patients means commit suicide. So, as doctor, how do you try to help them cope up psychologically the trauma and the difficulties they have to go through? For that one. Um, uh, only like it should be a teamwork. Mm. I personally I feel like it should be a teamwork. Mm. We should counsel the patients about the outcome of the treatments advancedly before that means we started treatments. 
we need to counsel the patient relatives also like means these are the things that may means uh, affect afterwards which may affect the quality of the life afterwards mm -hmm. and means uh, we need to uh, means uh, consults with other uh, this uh, other uh, expertise like uh, the speech and the swelling therapies mm -hmm. means because we need to take their help mm -hmm. and uh, and means we need to means if we need to do some kind of reconstruction then means we will be discussing with the plastic surgeons means who are doing this kind of reconstructions of course like means we are doing the reconstructions but like means but when we uh, combined with the plastic team surgeons the, means the, the even the last defect can be reconstructed and it can give to better form and the functions mm. and apart from that one means we should uh, uh, counsel the patients about the uh, after effect uh, means this one uh, changes because like means after means I, I, I will be just giving it means an example because uh, this voice box that is called the larynx with that is uh, responsible for the productions of the voice so means when we means remove because of the cancer means if we are compelled to remove this particular means uh, organs mm. then the patients will be uh, means, uh, losing the uh, uh, this one the power means to speak and all mm. and of course there will be a permanent opening over here mm. so means uh, especially among the professional voice users among the uh, like your singers or the uh, teachers by professions mm -hmm. which use voice as a um, as a main function when these particular things are removed there will be a lot of psychological uh, means uh, this one effects will be there mm -hmm. so means uh, we need to counsel the patient that uh, mm -hmm. this kind of changes can be taken and after that also means uh, we means uh, with the improvement in the medical science mm -hmm. means uh, we try to uh, means uh, put a device means uh, so that the patient can means uh, will be able to speak again but of course it will not be reaching to the uh, to the previous normal but means of course like means uh, that the voice production will be uh, up to the understable level mm -hmm. um, understable level so means i think like um, um, this one just to prevent the, uh, uh, the this one the side effect of the psychological effect counseling of the patients and means uh, this one um, um, better understanding means uh, of the situations explaining means uh, what are the after side effect, I think like it plays important roles. Being a cancer cancer doctor, mm. this is very fatalistic. How does a patient react? And usually, what question do they ask you once you you clear them? How difficult it is for a doctor to tell a patient, "Oh, we have found this is cancerous." Yeah, mentioned this one. Most of the patients mention when they comes to us in OPD. Mm. Of course, like um, when you say like means you are suffering from cancer, means the breaking of the news. Mm. So this is called the breaking of the news. Mm. The breaking of the news is very difficult mm. because means when you say the cancer, the patient feels like, oh, I'm gone type. Mm. So this is the uh, this is the main thing. So when so when the whenever the patient comes to us and means uh, when confirmed for diagnosis, the, there are mainly two questions they used to ask. Mm. The first one is means uh, means uh, what is my stays, mm. and the second one is how long means uh, I will live. Mm. So these are the two main questions. So means that even if, if, if it is the high stage disease or if even is, if it is the early stage disease, uh, counseling of the patient is very much important. Mm. We make the patient realize means uh, means uh, this one means of course like means along with the patient we need to uh, this one make understand the patient relatives of also. If it is the early stage or the late stage disease mm. or the late stage cancer, counseling is very much important. Mm. And the, for the counseling means uh, I mean means so we should uh, uh, means, uh, we do, do the counseling means uh, we should include the patient relatives as I've said mm -hmm. and we should explain the uh, means, uh, pros and the con of the treatments we can give uh, the options to the patients like means uh, if these are the means, uh, these are the treatment options available and if we choose this treatment then what can be the uh, means, uh, advantage and disadvantage of particular treatment modality mm -hmm. so means, uh, uh, means we need to explain each and everything before and after that means what will be the um, uh, consequence after the treatments so mm -hmm. these things means we need to discuss with the patients cancer is a very expensive disease hmm. and also it's very traumatic hmm. looking at the history and the statistics most of the cancer patients even though they are taking very expensive medical treatment hmm. the success rate is very low so how do you as a doctor, how do you try to convince the patient what are the treatment uh, availability and what are the uh, success guaranteed? 
So for that one, uh, as I've already said, it depends upon the stage of the tumors. Mm. Okay, for the early stage, there is the stage one and stage two cancer. When mm. so we used to give a single modality of the treatments, mm. means like means so we give only one treatment options. When so in the early stage, we can give either for the surgery options or we can give for the uh, radiation that is called the radiotherapy in which we get the hip. And for the advanced stage disease, means the stage three and stage four, when so we used to give combined modality of treatments. That means. Uh, we can first do the surgeries and after that means depending upon the biopsy report we can add chemotherapy and radiotherapy of course adding these uh, treatment modalities will also increase the side effect mm. and or means uh, or some of the cancer like means uh, your uh, laryngeal cancer or the hyperpharyngeal cancer in most of the cases means uh, we go for the chemotherapy and the radiotherapy because like means uh, removing that particular means a uh, voice box or means uh, uh, it has got many um, uh, this one um, comorbidities in the patients after the surgery so first we try to treat the patient with the conservative approach giving radiotherapy means we are not going to remove the uh, voice box so the patients can um, means have still have the voice so means, uh, these are the treatment options and means uh, regarding the uh, regarding the cause of course means uh, when uh, head and neck cancer treatments um, it uh, it involves the cause because like means uh, uh, we will be treating the patients when give, we give the radiotherapy or when we give the chemotherapy we used to give at least for uh, months, uh, for months, one and a half months to one, uh, months, uh, one, one and a half to two months if we are giving a full course of the radiotherapy it involves um, money and um, so means, uh, regarding the cause means, of course like means, it involves the causes for example a person is being detected timely hmm. And he has uh, he has given all the treatment. Hmm. What are the chances that the occurrence can come back and what follow up should he do? one should take? Uh, regarding that one, um, uh, the chances of recurrence um, in head and neck cancers, the maximum chances of the recurrence of the cancers occur in the first two years of the completions of the treatments. Hmm. So, follow up is a very essential part of the treatment of the cancer. Hmm. So, when the if we detect the cancer means the or the means the in uh, the reappearance of the cancer in the early stages then we give uh, then we can give a maximum chances of cure so for the initial two years for the initial first two years we follow up the patients every two to three months mm. and thereafter for the next three years means we follow the patients for every four to six months mm. thereafter we follow the patients annually and regarding the prognosis as I've already said, it depends upon the stage. Mm. For the early stages, the prognosis means uh, the chances of cure is better, so the prognosis is better. Means, uh, for the early stage T1, T2, means, uh, I'm just tell telling an average of the head and the cancer. Mm. The, prognosis, the, uh, uh, the, the prognosis of the five years survival is around 60 to 70 percent. Mm. But for the advanced stages like stage 4, these survivals reduce to around 20 to 40 percent. I see. So, be a head of cancer department being only one of the, the three head and neck cancer doctors in Manipur mm. as a service here in Churchanpur continue what would advice would you like to give to the people of Churchanpur through this Hornbill media to, what are preventive measures they can take mm. to avoid this kind of fatalistic disease yeah Masa, uh, that's Masa, uh, to the people of Churchanpur what I want to say it's like uh, Masa, first of all uh, Masa, I mean the proportions of using tobacco is quite high in Churchanpur mm. so I humbly request to the people to Masa, try to Masa, avoid the tobacco because tobacco kills means in every in, in every uh, uh, this one uh, tobacco products but it there is cl clearly written over there that tobacco causes cancer tobacco kills but knowingly when so we used to consume the tobacco and in the head and neck cancer tobacco is the main culprit mm. so by reducing the tobacco when so we can prevent many preventable cancer mm. so when so if they are using the tobacco then i will request them when so i will when so this one advise them just to uh, um, just to reduce of course it will be difficult in the in the first stage, but gradually they can reduce. And I personally suggest like they should stop tobacco. Mm. And I've seen like even in many of my doctors' colleagues, they are also using tobacco. I always <laughs> used to tell them like try to avoid tobacco. And apart from that one, they should know like what the cancers means are included in head and neck cancer. So I got the opportunity just to explain about that subside different type of the cancers. 
So if any suspected symptoms, like as I have said, like if there is non-healing ulcer persisting more than two weeks, mm -hmm. then they should consult with the doctors. And if there is any difficulty in swallowing, mm -hmm. lasting for more than two weeks, and especially among the old age group of patients, mm -hmm. Uh, with the non cases of uh, chewing tobacco and uh, this one um, um, alcohol, then means they should definitely means contact with the doctors, because early detections of the cancer leads to the better survival and the better prognosis. So means if we delay, means if we keep on neglecting the things, then the cancer will advance because the cancer doesn't wait for anyone; mm -hmm. it will go on advancing, and even once uh, one day matters in the treatment of the cancers. Thank you so much, Dr. Puspaki Sormaibam. Despite the pandemic and uh, the curfew, taking your mm -hmm. time to come out and uh, give awareness about cancer, this is very much the need of time. Mm -hmm. And as you continue your service here in Church Chanpur, may you be a blessing for many. And I hope with this awareness we are giving, it will make a lot of difference. Thank you so much. Thank you. Today, I saw you, Dr. Puspaki Sormaibam, in cancer, Lule Mong, cancer, Vede Bang Chiket, calling here, Bang. Bang Chibang Akiba Ihi Hachi Sabha Mahi Ha English Power Hi Zegan Thay Siam La Ummai Thay Dinga Tunia Ring Weekend Hon Lule Ngong Cancer Awareness Tung Tang Iho Lim Nao Yai Tana Abbey Ta Hi And Tu Teng Teng Nabeng Na Tung Ki Pak Tukon Gena Ikam Sung Cancer Experience Na Iti Ho Social Media Le Youtube Ain Ten Comment Section Na Ba Na Experience Su Ba Na Ngai Dan On Kum Zeldin Kon Cialo Da Hi Tunia Ring Weekend Hon Asa Ota Hi